Lego is meant to be a fun and exciting experience, and most of the time it is. The building process calms you, it relaxes you, and sometimes it helps your brain just slow down after a long day. That is until a sticker sheet falls out of the instruction manual. But don't worry, a couple can't be too bad. Then another sticker sheet falls out. Next thing you know, you're in a furious rage, trying to align number 47 with laser precision on a curved piece. Your fingers are hurting, your brain is panicking, and you just can't forget about that one by one sticker on a cheese slope that is now crooked for the rest of eternity. I'm sure we have all had some really bad experiences, especially within Speed Champion sets, but today we're going to take a look at some of the hardest and most awkward stickers LEGO have ever tormented us with. LEGO definitely have a sticker problem, and it's not getting easier. Speaking of Speed Champions, I'm sure most of, if not all of you are familiar with the new, well, newish, BMW M4 GT3 and BMW M Hybrid V8 set. LEGO have found a way to ease you into this set. Bags 1 through 4 see you creating the iconic M4 GT3, and every so often you are blessed with a sticker here and a sticker there. 27 stickers on this car, some of which leaving you mentally scarred because they're one by two pieces and placing them is just a nightmare. But worry not, we only have bags five, six and seven left to build the BMW M Hybrid V8. Surely the majority of stickers are now over with. Less bags means less stickers, right? Wrong. In this case, less bags means more stickers. More stickers means two more sticker sheets. The first sticker sheet for this bag goes from number 28 all the way up to 66 and then the next one takes us up to 71. 71 stickers across two cars is actually insane. I'm halfway through this build and I cannot find the motivation to start the second car, knowing I might just not have any fingers left. But these fingers can do Brinko's picks, the segment where I shout out your favourite set from the previous video and this time it goes to user FQ9RU4WZ1K and their favourite set is set 10303, the Lego icon loop coaster. Let me know your favourite set down in the comments for a chance to be featured in my next video. Now that loop coaster is pretty awesome, definitely looks like it's going to make you nauseous, just like the sticker placements in the latest Lamborghini V12 Vision GT set. I'm telling you, the Speed Champions sticker crew has it out for us. The first tricky sticker is obviously in bag 1, page 16 to be exact of the instructions. Place a black sticker on a black 1x2 45 degree angle piece. I mean, come on. But it doesn't stop there. Eight steps later, place another black sticker on another black 1x2 45 degree piece. They're just laughing at us now. So for most people, the first two stickers are now crooked. Bag 2 starts off promising. Page 43. Four stickers this time, but thin long ones. Not too hard to place. Page 48. Back to the stress. Page 49. They've stitched us up again. Green sticker on a green 45 degree angle. Cheers. You starting to get the idea? But the main event, the level 100 sticker of this set, step 66. This is where Lego separates the children from the adults. This is where most of us tap out. We have to place the thinnest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. On the side, yes the side of a rounded 1x3 plate. How is that even fair? Is that even possible without messing it up? Well, good luck, because if you don't mess it up, well done. But do it again, because it requires two placements. Cheers Lego, everyone's crying. Big stickers can be just as hard to place as small ones though, just like the Reddit user Yoda's Chico Stick found out. They had the 2016 Batman Classic TV series Batcave set. This set features a huge helipad that requires a sticker each side. Now trying to line up something so big could be a disaster, as there's more room to go wrong. But not only do you have to line up both sides individually, they also connect together. So if one side is slightly higher than the other, or slightly crooked, then the whole design would be off. Even the thought of that just causes me extreme stress. If you are enjoying the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Your support might seem small, but it means the world to me and helps me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers. Flat stickers are bad enough, but on the UCS A-Wing Starfighter set, things just get even more technical. The domed cockpit requires three separate stickers and none of them are flat. 
page 223 on the build instructions shows us the pain we're about to endure. Stickers 5 and 7 have to run around the very edge, slightly curving at the front, so it's so easy to either hang the sticker off the bottom or worse, not keep it straight enough. Sticker 6 connects both across the top and has a specific point to aim for on either side. So essentially, if one is out, they're all out and the middle feature of your set is ruined forever. What? But that's nothing when you compare it to the Red 5 X-Wing Starfighter set. This also has a cockpit that requires a sticker placement, but on a whole different level. There are four stickers that all need to be placed with precision accuracy, making sure none of them overlap one another. Granted, the cockpit is flat, but even still, it's a tricky one. Thankfully, LEGO saw sense, and when they released the updated UTS X-Wing, the same cockpit was used, but this time, it was printed. It turns out, the Ultimate Collector series just keeps giving more and more, each of which tend to come with a decorated plaque, which shows all of the technical data of the model you're building, but the catch is, you have to decorate it yourself. They're not printed, they're again, huge stickers that just seem a nightmare to place. The UCS X-Wing is a great example of this. Also a sticker, the same with the UCS Razor Crest, another sticker plaque, but this one also has large grey stickers to be stuck on grey pieces. How fun is that? But surely the Millennium Falcon would have a printed piece, considering it costs 850 US dollars or 735 Great British Pounds. Nope. That one's also a sticker, but let's try again. Surely the 8080 would have a printed piece, considering that also costs 850 US dollars or 735 Great British Pounds. Nope, that one's also a sticker. But one last attempt, surely. Luke Skywalker's land speeder, is that printed? Nope also a sticker, but don't worry, this one also comes with some curved stickers that sit on the slight incline too, and they're perched at the very front and centre of the build. No pressure, don't mess it up. Although it's not just Star Wars with these huge stickers, Marvel has blessed us too. The Daily Bugle set is just a masterpiece through and through. Throughout the 3,789 piece build, you'll be slowed down with a plethora of stickers to place, but this time all varying in size. You'll be expecting to see anything from a 1x2 taxi sticker or a 2x2 screen sticker, then ultimately working your way up to the boss level triple big daddy sticker, a setup found at page 201, step 275 where well, you'll first need to place a 6x6 sticker, followed by an absolutely massive 8x16 sticker, then finishing off with a curved wall sticker. You'd like to think that after that, you'll be finished, but nah, there's plenty more stickers to deal with in that set. But there is no curved sticker more unique and more hardcore than the one found in the fluffy encounter Hogwarts set, specifically this sticker, which can be found within the castle spire. The sticker itself doesn't look too bad, but the fact it needs to be placed on a curve, which is on the inside of a piece, is just asking for trouble. There's multiple factors to get around placing this perfectly, and it might even take the most experienced sticker places a couple of drives to get right. By then, it could have lost all its adhesive stickiness, and it might even have bent an edge, considering it ruined. LEGO Speed Champions keeps making a return, and that's purely because these cars tend to have an extreme amount of stickers. Some people love this, some people hate this, and some people just tolerate this. I'm kind of in the middle of this strange sticker love triangle because I do see the relevance, but I also do see the overtop exaggeration sometimes. Just like step 53 in the Mercedes AMG Project 1 build, this set specifically requires you to place 10 stickers back to back to back. Some of them are tiny, some of them are long and some of them are on an, an annoying angle. When I turned the page to this step I genuinely didn't know what to think. My brain shut down and I needed a fresh reboot. Although, I am so glad I was not into LEGO when the Maersk Line Triple E container ship came out. This set is extremely infamous, specifically for the stickers, totaling a mind-boggling 133 stickers across the set, most of which were exactly the same. I'm not even kidding, just look at book 2, page 41. This single step requires you to place 5 stickers on one side and an additional 5 on the other side, then it ever so kindly asks you to repeat that step 5 more times, 
totaling 60 stickers just to complete this one step. And all of the stickers are exactly the same. But when and if you finally finish, and assuming you still have fingertips, you'll be able to display this set proudly on your display with your million stickers and even your decorated plaque front and center. But don't get too excited. The decorated plaque, also a sticker. Enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on these stickers down in the comments below and make sure to comment your favorite set for a chance to be featured in my next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like and a subscribe and I will definitely be seeing you in the next one.